Diğer taraftan gidiyoruz. Buradan çıkıyoruz. Nereden What you guys would notice uh, if you ever come to Antalya is uh, there is an incredible amount of Russian tourists here. Like just incredible amount. And then after the Russian tourists to a much, much smaller degree would be uh, English people, like British. And then that would be like after that kind of be everybody else. But I have uh, walked past quite a few Persian people actually. I uh, haven't seen really. I don't think I've seen one Chinese tourist here. Um, Chinese, Japanese, I really haven't seen them. Um, handful of, well, I wouldn't be able to tell you if they're African or uh, black or Canadians, Americans, I have no idea, but I did see like a handful of black people here enjoying the beautiful city. But overall, this is a Russian tourist city and <laughs> they love it here. <laughs> the Russians love it here. The, uh, my uh, Airbnb host told me that and this, the population of the city is 2.7 million to like 3 million but during the peak season summertime where all the tourists come it jumps by 1 million so the population can hit almost 4 million and that he's, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's probably right on this it might be a bit of an exaggeration but he says that one million extra is almost all Russian. <laughs> but you come here, guys, you, you hear like, you hear the Russian language everywhere. You see them everywhere. And in one way, it's good for the local economy because obviously it's a tourist city. So they want all these tourists to come, right? And another way, or another viewpoint of it is that uh, they have the Russians, the the rich business people. I don't know, maybe oligarchs, maybe not. I have no idea. But what they have done is driven the price of commercial property sky high. They come and they just buy whatever commercial property they can get their hands on, and uh, things that were let's say five thousand lira a month for rental. It's closer to like 15,000 a month rental compared to a year ago. Them buying things up, the pandemic of the past two years, recession, inflation, <laughs> all of this has added up and um, things are not so good for the locals here, to be honest. Uh, they're suffering quite a bit. Things have gotten to disproportionate prices. I was having breakfast with uh, my Airbnb host, uh, and we were talking about how the prices are skyrocketing, so on and so forth. And I said to him, I'm like, you know what? It's not so bad for me because you know, I come here with the Canadian dollar. Not the best dollar in the world, but it's still something, right? But also I mentioned, like, I can only imagine how difficult it has become for you guys. As I mentioned that, some lady chimes in and she's a, she starts, you know, talking to us for a good five minutes or so, explaining how the price of eggs have gone up, the price of this, that, 
it's difficult to feed a family, so on and so forth. Uh, so it's become a double double edged sword. This little park is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> we were out here last night. Just night out having some drinks great time it gets really packed in these streets you wouldn't recognize it like there's like a hundred times more people than what you see today saturday night it gets really packed here but quite the city of contradictions too or contrast not really contradiction contrast or in one sense you have a city that's as european as european can get they're very open-minded bars everywhere drinks everywhere beautiful live music everywhere and right you know beside them would be a lady wearing a hijab walking past a mosque and right beside the mosque is a bar Right, so quite the contrast. To me, that speaks volumes on how open-minded these people are, how accepting of one another they are. This is a Muslim society. However, not as Muslim as you may think. Um, Quite a few Turkish people will just openly eat like sausage, pork, obviously drinks everywhere. We'll, you know, we're walking past some bars right now. Um, mosques all over the place. But for the most part, it's only a handful of people that go inside and pray. It's not like they're packed, right? Uh, it's interesting. Very interesting society. They are dealing with a. Oh. I'm going the wrong way, but it's okay. Yeah, let's try this, maybe. Nah, not enough light. Can't record. Let me just go this way. But they, uh, they definitely don't like their government. Or their own government is a very, very unpopular government here. He is what they consider to be an Islamist government. And from, mind you guys, like I haven't spent 10 years here. I've only been here for about three weeks or so. The Turkish 